one of the first projects we did, um, we came in, we said, this is the solution. Let's create an urban farm. At an at a area, we had all, we had, we did the basic due diligence, but as we went along, we realized this might not be the need of the community is an urban farm. They were actually, when we had Mandela Day there, which was an amazing experience in itself, um, when I actually visited the people in their homes, I said, we should have maybe focused on fixing their roofs, which are leaky every um, winter with damp and real other health issues. Because we were coming and saying, look, all oh, the community is going to eat these healthy vegetables and they're going to be healthy. But we didn't even think about what are, the, what are the knock, why are they unhealthy? Is it food or could it be another reason? So that's, I think that's the first one. So that's, that's what we learned out of that process. And then the organization that we work with now in James Stun in Stunnenbosch, uh, Usiko, they decided they wanted to start a regenerative farm. And we just came along on the journey to say, how do you measure that? So that was the start of the process. They already were willing to do it themselves. And we are partners. We're not, we are absolute partners in this venture now. Um, so, so that that process, it's continuing. It never stops. Actually, I think that's the that's the big lesson. There's no start and no end. There's hopefully a point where we can just pull out and say, wow, you've established the conditions to have a thriving enterprise. So I think um the way what I it took me a while to get to this point, but what we address are three points, and we try and keep it simple. So I've said it, it's about is it legal? I keep referring to due diligence, but that is a really important point because you can't access funding if you're doing something which is either in a gray area or illegal, unfortunately. Um, even if we don't agree with the law, that's just the way the cookie crumbles and banks aren't going to look at you. Um, we, we look at is it legal? Then we look at it, is it um is it legitimate? I, I, in my mind, I say legit because that's what we say, talk in South Africa according to slang. I said, is it legitimate? And what that means is, can you defend the, what this project is? Can I honestly say this is having a real impact and I'm happy with the process? And is it legitimate in the eyes of the community? Do they really not feel we need this? We love this. We want to take this forward. And I think the last point is, is, is it lasting? And what I apply there is the principles of lean impact. Uh, and my Chang, an amazing book. Anybody that's interested in, in thinking about creating lasting impact, I would refer to that. Um, and, and that says you need to test three hypotheses. Is it value? Do people value it? Can it grow? So can it scale? Is it, and, and that also refers to, is it sustainable financially? And then lastly, is it having impact? And is it relentlessly seeking to have more and more impact? Are we falling in love with the problem we're addressing and not the solution that we're proposing? So those three points, and we continue to go through that circle as much as possible. And then, as I said, with, with the urban farm and with the, the work that Usiko is doing, Usiko takes people into the wilderness and tells them, and this is what I realize as an attorney, is pe sometimes people just need to somebody to tell them, you are valued, or you are an individual, or you are okay, or you are... Not even amazing. You just are a person, um, and that's what Usiko is doing in, in a big way in the community, and and really um, working relentlessly to to empower their community and and the broader South Africa. So we're very excited about the project and to keep on going through the cycles of them. I'm, I'm very hopeful.